Okay, so in this video, we're gonna be looking at how many bedrooms you should uh, be looking for, ideally in your next HMO property. Now ultimately, when we're sourcing HMO properties for clients, um, we usually look between the four to six um, bed range. Now, a couple of reasons for that. Um, we do have some investors that we know that do HMOs with three um, bedrooms, so they work great for them. Um, however, for us and the majority of our clients, when they're looking at HMOs purely on a yield basis, that somewhat dictates the location they're gonna invest in. Um, and they don't tend to be hands-on with those properties. They usually have letting the agents that run and manage those properties for them. And because of that, they obviously need to make sure they've got as much kind of yield or income coming into the property to kind of cover those running costs, essentially. Three bedroom HMO is quite difficult to do that. If you're self-managing, it can give you enough of an income to make sense to do maybe a three bed HMO instead of a straightforward buy to let. However, if you're looking to have a letting agent run that property for you, and um, most of the time it's four bedrooms upwards that, that really work when it starts to come into kind of its own with HMOs. Now, one of the main requirements or one of the main reasons why people tend to do HMOs is because of the increased kind of cash flow and yield those kind of properties generate. Now, you also need to take into account in terms of the ability and how easy it is to find properties in the right locations that will rent out great and the amount of housing stock that you're gonna to have to play with. And that's why we say between four to six rooms, because ultimately that's a sweet spot of finding the right location and the price range of the property to fit and also getting a good yield um, and a good return on those particular properties. Um, if you can go up slightly higher in that scale, so you go five, six bedrooms, then your returns will be um, typically increased quite significantly. It's almost like a hockey stick in terms of the returns that you start to generate if you add maybe one or two more bedrooms. Four bedrooms, it can still work well though. Um, and what we tend to find in the areas that we cover, if we go too large on some of the HMOs, they can be difficult to manage or difficult to fill. Um, so again, we tend to try and kind of balance that out and aim between the kind of the four to six bedroom mark. So hopefully that helps. And hopefully it gives you a bit more of an idea as to, to kind of what to aim for when you're looking for your next HMO. Um, and it might be area specific, you might be in a location that can withstand a very large HMO. And there's a number of different research topics that we go into in terms of how to pick a particular area, that kind of stuff, um, in our property training course as well. But hopefully that gives you a little bit of a guide as to, to where to start, essentially, when you're looking for your next HMO. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this content and you'd like to join our free online property training course, we've got a link for it on this page. And in there we cover a range of different property strategies to help you get started, either building a long-term property portfolio or creating cash-flowing property business. We also look at ways to increase your return on investment with any of the property you're maybe considering. And we also have a couple of cheat sheets and downloadable documents in there as well. Simply click on the link to join the free training course today.